Squad, well, welcome back to the video. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing how to download the spray shade I used for the Greenville revamp. I recently did this video like a few days ago, but a lot of people are asking me how I did this and like I should do a tutorial on it. And why not? I'll do a tutorial on it, showing you guys what I did to download this thing. So, yeah. Anyways, here's today's video. Shut up. And if you like to make sure go ahead and hit the subscribe, you're gonna fish and Discord member and make sure to buy some of the fire merch. Link in the description as always. But yeah. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you want to do is grab the link from the description. You wanna to go to the link that I sent you. Just click it. And as you guys can see right here, it says the zip and file. You just want to click download. Wait for it to download, it take at least a minute. A minute to five minutes depending on how fast your PC is. Mine's gonna take like a few seconds, just give it a few seconds. And as it is right now, I'm reaching two seconds. Now it's done. Cool, now it's done. And as you guys can see, it's complete. After that, it will run a uh, RenRAR file. Yes, you'll have to install RenRAR. I'm not 100% sure how to do this without RenRAR. Uh, so yeah, make sure to download RenRAR. So you want to click the link. This thing, I mean the RenRAR. Okay, after clicking the link, this file will come up with the RenRAR file and everything you guys will have to install into your Roblox file. So firstly, uh, you actually want to extract it. So do extract files to wherever. Uh, after that, you guys want to open up your file explorer. What are your downloads folder? You want to click this. And you see all of these files. So firstly, you wanna just double click this. And the next thing you wanna do is select game to install or install from. I actually did that wrong, just redo it real quick. Do this, uh, find your file, do this, this, OpenGL. All right, uh, just ignore this, you won't see this, but uh, do all that I just did. And you'll have all of these. You wanna do okay? You can uncheck them all, but I'm gonna do okay. And after that, you're completely done with all that. Next, you wanna open up another folder for your Roblox. You wanna find your Roblox. All right. So the next thing you wanna do, you see all these files. You just wanna drag them into your main, your Roblox main directory. Just drag them in, drag and drop. Just wait for it to do this. And it says the destination has 99 files with the same name. Want to replace them? Yes. Just do replace. And there you go. So you don't have to do this, but you can run a FPS unlocker if you guys would like to save frames. And yeah, I'll run that. Just do this. This. Oh, okay. Let's just wait here. And as you guys can see over there, it is installed. And that's really all you gotta do. You can go down here, do your FPS unlocker, go here, you can do 240, 30, anything you really want to do. Anyways, let's head back into game. Alright, whenever you're in Roblox, you can do all this. You want to start the tutorial, I'm just going to call it a game. Okay, so you want to load in the game, just give it a few seconds, just to the key. A little bit for me, since, yeah. Alright, we're loaded in. So the next thing you want to do is says um, reshoot is now installed successfully. Press home to start the tutorial. So you want to press home. Uh, you guys can do the tutorial if you want to. I'm just gonna do the skip the tutorial. Skip. And as you guys can see, we have everything in here. You want to go to the default preset, click it, and click the reshade. This one right here. And there you go. It's starting to install right now. Just give it a few seconds. It may lag your game a lot. And that's why you have an FPS unlocker. The FPS unlocker can save frames. But yeah, that's all you have to do. You can edit the settings if you really want to. Highly suggest do not. But yeah. Next, you want to go over to the settings. Click it. And you want to create a effect toggle key. So whenever you want to turn it off, on, you want to do this. Just click it. I highly suggest the end key. So do end. So yeah. That's really all you have to do. So whenever you press end now, uh, you do press end, you have on, off, on, off. But if you want to glow, go to your settings, 
you want to take it down to an 8. I'm turn back on your graphics. And as you guys can see, it makes your game look like this. It looks so blurry, but anyway. Seas. It makes the vehicle look so realistic, which I literally like to do. Like the mostly I like this thing for anyway. Oh, okay. Say you don't want this in your anymore in your game. You want to learn how to re uninstall it. Let me show you guys how to uninstall this. You want to just click the same thing you did before, the reshade setup. Okay. You can select the game to install or install. You want to you want to uninstall this. So, you want to click this. And you want to pick where you guys want to inst uninstall this from. Okay, such as Roblox. So just do that. Open. Open GL. And do you want this to override your existing install or uninstall reshade? You can click yes or no to override. Well, I highly suggest a no to uninstall. So just click no. And it has been successfully uninstalled. I'm not 100% sure if you can get banned from Roblox because of th from this, but honestly, this is at your own risk. Uh, I highly suggest not using it, but if you guys really want to, go ahead, it's your risk. So, I'm probably not going to be able to do videos on this anymore, so I'm, I want to install it anyways. Also, the files you installed before, such as this one, just go ahead, click delete. And say you don't want the Robux thing, you can just do exit, or you can just do whatever. You can keep it actually. I really like it. That's how, she, that's how you can get better frames in Greenville and other games. Honestly, it's actually a pretty cool feature, but I highly suggest keeping it. And whenever you join game again, you'll always see that you can't do anything. If you click home and end, nothing comes up. And you'll see that it successfully uninstalled. And that's really all you have to do to uninstall the... That's really all you have to do to uninstall the reshade. It's early on. But yeah. Anyways, I think that's crap for today's video. Hope you guys all did enjoy this video today. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as we're almost to 2,500 subscribers. I like to thank you for the reason to support the channel. Hope you guys all did like this tutorial. Uh, today we're just doing a video on how to use a reshade in Greenville in Roblox in a game. But honestly, this is at your own risk. Uh, download this at your own risk. I'm not 100% sure if you can get banned from Roblox because of this, but I'm not gonna be using this in my videos anymore because yeah, I don't I don't feel like uh, taking my risk to do these videos just for me to get a ban on Roblox. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys all did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and join my.